Hello, everybody. Um, <clears throat> perhaps the biggest trend in, in health today is personalization. And I suppose that many of you have come here and are also looking at your business development from the viewpoint of personalized health. However, this change in, in uh, the personalized health, mm, sorry, the change to personalized health has a major impact to all, the, to all current health tech, pharmaceutical and care provider businesses. Uh, the borders be between the highly regulated professional healthcare and the uh, non-regulated consumer-driven uh, wellness market are being blurred. The doctors are no longer supreme of authorities and do not hold the monopoly of knowledge. Uh, and the patients have a variety of information sources where they challenge uh, the treatment uh, providers in a completely new way. Uh, and they can also uh, expect that they are treated as uh, subjects of their own health and not just objects for practicing medicine. However, some things do remain unchanged. Uh, healthcare is not a regular market. Uh, the role of institutional payers, so tax uh, in, uh, insurance, is and will be there, even though the role of the individual becomes stronger. The institutional payer will keep asking the question, where is the evidence that your solution is safe, efficient and cost effective? They will demand to explain how the solution is aligned with the policy priorities and also they will insist on show, uh, you to show that the new technology or therapy uh, does impact, for example, quality of life in a manner that justifies a higher investment and higher cost. This brings back uh, that the personalized health development cannot overlook the traditional and perhaps unsexy aspect of population health. How does your product, service or solution show statistically significant impact in a population? Another thing, it is known that services in healthcare contribute only to maybe 20 to 30 percent on health. The genetic heritage, lifestyle, environment and pure coincidence affect more than any hospitals and pharmaceuticals. Pure water is more significant for health than any treatment. Currently, the health hype seems to be overlooking and not addressing sort of traditional public health needs. But still, look at the world around you. Epidemics, antimicrobial resistance, Biological and chemical threats, they are there and they require new technology and data-driven solutions. But currently, uh, nobody is, seems not to be addressing it. It's a potential market. Do not overlook it. I'm working at THL, the National Institute for Health and Welfare, and bringing this, this short introduction is just a... a to highlight that the opportunities for uses of population data is changing in Finland. There is new legislation on the drawing board. There are new services that are built so that an access in using the unique Finnish health and social welfare data resources becomes easier. And even though we are an established institution, we will be sort of in a startup mode for the coming years, starting completely new services where we require use cases pilots and clients, and we wish to work with many of you uh, in the future. And all this up and running from the beginning of 18. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Pekka.